The heat map is a key bookmap feature. Numerical values of liquidity in the current order book here are given a graphical representation in the heat map. Areas of high liquidity, for example, down here at 27.10 and 27.11, we see very high liquidity, and we can see this color here of red and orange. The scale of the heat map is up here. Areas of high liquidity are this reddish-orange area here, followed by less liquidity is yellow, white, blue, and then black. When the numerical values change here in the order book, that change is reflected in the heat map. What bookmap does is then takes this heat map here in the current order book to the right of this vertical white line and transposes it onto the historical chart to the left of this vertical white line. Now we're able to use and read the heat map on much higher time frames. When you zoom in and out, you may want to adjust the heat map to give further insight. Let's right click on the heat map here and choose heat map settings. Under the color map here, we can choose different color maps. You can have it displayed on the toolbar or not. There's also some advanced color map settings here. You can play with the contrast, the large size highlight, as well as the brightness. It is unlikely you'll be using these advanced color map settings. Instead, you'll be adjusting the heat map according to the lower cutoff and upper cutoff percentages. Play around with the sliders to get the exact setting that you like. You can also input exact sizes in these boxes here. You also have displayed here on the toolbar the lower cutoff. If you don't like that, you can deselect the box so it doesn't display. Under the vertical smoothing and averaging, the default setting is on auto, so there is a little bit of smoothing within the heat map here. If you don't like that, you can go to none, and now you're getting exact values here transposed onto the heat map. Or you can use the manual slider here to adjust the smoothing to whatever you prefer. Let's select auto. Now let's go over some of the other aggregate settings down here. If you want to look at an aggregate view of that heat map, select this box here. One level of liquidity is added to the next and so on. Therefore, at the extremes, we can see areas of high liquidity. Or we can click on the advanced market depth settings here. If you want to override the depth of market, so for example, only show 10 levels, on the offer and on the bid, check this box here and input the value of your choice. Please read this note for further information. For the extended market depth, you can display it by checking this box here. Now, if you have full depth of market, it is unnecessary to check this box. For further information, please read this note here. You can also reset the heat map at the end of the day or reset it within a specific time frame. For further information and details about the heat map, please go to Help, User Guide, and search for the heat map.